Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts Found 4 and Tonga Time! This episode, we are hopefully gonna expand quite a bit more. We did succeed in doing it much, much, much further than I ever expected we to do in the last episode. We actually expanded and took one additional island. So we start right here and we did a small little innovation up north and took the small nation of Funafuti. God, slaughtering that name. Funafuti. Funafuti. Yeah, Funafuti. Whatever. I'm really sorry for slaughtering that name. And now I embarrass myself in front of so many people. But that's alright. Because I always do that. Anyway. Uh, so there was a lot of comments. A crap ton of comments in the last episode, really. To be honest. And... <sighs> Of course, a couple of puns because a couple of people wanted to be the next division. So I actually took forward two of my favorite ones from the ones I saw, which should have been all since I read every single comment. Um, but two of my favorites right here. First, we have the one guy you think you know that came with the suggestion. What happened to the dinosaur that went to, the, uh, to an egg store? He went extinct. Cue hysterical laughter. It was pretty good, and I'm probably gonna give you a division for that. But there was another guy who, um, well, he 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 top spotted, and um, it was pretty beautiful. Uh, it was from Josh Acres, as uh, probably slaughtering your name. Sorry for that. But he said, "Why was King Arthur's army too tired to fight? It had too many sleepless nights." Beautiful, Josh. That was beautiful. And, of course, you're gonna get your division. And I was thinking, if... I, I could actually give you a boat instead. But I said a division. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if you're up for either a unit or a boat, and I think I'm gonna continue with this comp competition, as someone called it. Um, so yeah, just write down below a good pun, and if it's good enough, then you'll get a division. That simple. I was planning to take one from every single episode, but if the puns keep up, well, they're good quality, I'm probably gonna name more than one single division per game after someone who makes a horrible pun. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's go back to Tonga actually and stop with the puns or stupid intros. So we are right now just vying against the nation of Vanat Van Uta Vanatu. This small nation with the capital of Port Villa. And we're just gonna go in and actually destroy them. We have another war goal against them in 240 days. They have no army, no ships. So it's gonna be a piece of a cake to just bring them down. Um, you're gonna start... Actually, you need to defend both of those. Come on. I said you need to defend both of them. Thank you. Then we're gonna take our small division right here. You're gonna go in right here. And you are actually gonna invade... Just straight for the capital, actually. There's no point of doing any other way. But wait, 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 wait. The Democrats rally behind Hillary Clinton? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, Republican. I uh, forgot that we actually already had an event that Bush became president. Ah, the terror continues. Continues. So, um, now we can start thinking about if we should actually change the manpower law. Probably not time yet for it, but just because I know myself and I would probably forget about it Which I did right 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 we were already supposed to actually have changed out both of these We were gonna change it out once we had our war war against well the previous nation But I guess we just have to do it right now instead Let's see we have one two Okay, yeah, then we're good then we will be able to attack you and still change both laws that I want. So I basically want to change this one to War Economy. And I want to change Limited Conscription to... Uh, probably Service by Requirement. No, 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 wait, wait, we discussed it. And we decided to, let's just go for Extensive Conscription. It's only, let's see... 2, 3% difference, 2.5k... No, 1.5k, no? 2.5... Come on, it's 3%. It's 3,000 troops difference. Actually, that was more than I expected. It's 3,000 troops difference. Hmm. 
Ah, screw it. We're gonna pick this one if we can, of course. We need more that more political power for that. And I do need. Oh God, I really need 450 to be able to go all the way up there. That's gonna be quite hard. But this is like the main priority, so we might actually just be able to afford war economy and not anything else. If that's so, then that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna get the weak disability and just by war goal time now when we do the ways of the old. Finally, we're getting those lovely, lovely bonuses over there. Uh, let's see, we're gonna continue down right here. Oh, right, 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 that was the reason I was not gonna go to service by requirement, because I just remembered I'm gonna get the human wave offensive right there. Give me 5% rec recruitable population right there. So we might actually be fine just going extensive. <laughs> God damn it. Miss, like, uh, I am... Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm a bit, like... <laughs> lost in thought, lost in... Br whatever. Sorry, I'm a bit, um... What's the word? Lost in thought? Maybe? I, I I just rushed home and started recording instantly, so I'm a bit stressed still from work. But yeah, <laughs> whatever, you probably know what I mean. Uh, let's see, so can we do anything more to actually improve our rate of basically anything that doesn't cost blue power? No, I think we're pretty much as ready as we can be. We just need to wait now. And let's see. You're going to... Actually, how strong is Australia? 6 to 17 divisions. That was not very much. Alright, and so on my... Here. How many more divisions I can do? That is Special Forces Division. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, as we're cancelling, that just show that we have more than 9 more battalions we can actually produce. We can produce, right now, in total, 24 of these divisions. And this just showed us that plus 9 division. That was also said in comments. Thank you for reminding me about that. I had completely forgotten about it. Uh, let's see, zero manpower. Why do I have zero manpower? Because I'm producing one more unit. Do I want to? No, I don't think so. And my dear boat production. Yeah, you are not gonna do that anymore. If I can avoid it. S oh, actually, should you do it? Let's see, how many men do you have? You have another 250,000 men. Uh, this only had another 10,000, right? Yeah, and I get two of them. So you have basically... One many one ten times no 25 times which is basically gonna give me nothing as well it's gonna give me like 100 men at most so that's not really gonna improve my manpower situation at all so I'm just gonna do like this I'm gonna drag that one down and I'm gonna start producing convoys so you are still gonna have some kind of production but it's gonna be very very small uh, the rest of it just convoys because we're definitely gonna need it especially as an island nation we're just spreading around our convoy love to everyone and you're supposed to actually join our current fleet please and uh, let's see there we go and you just group up with them thank you okay uh, I didn't have time unfortunately to hook in all of these portraits because it wouldn't be possible that way I have to spawn new leaders to be able to I basically have to write events with, with that spawns in new leaders and then, well, apply the photos I got sent on Twitter. So, um, okay. Daniel, maybe not everyone understands what you're talking about. So, let's just repeat those few sentences. So, last time I said, well, if you make a photo of the leaders and, uh, well, then I would probably try to plug them in into the game. So, actually, we'll run as the leaders since we don't have any portraits right here. But I can't just add a portrait to them. I would have to generate a new leader to actually plug in those photos. So if I have time, I will try to do it. So actually get your lovely portraits that I got sent by, let's see, Twitter, 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 load. Uh, Theo, thank you Theo for those lovely portraits. They were very, very awesome. I like the potato head guy the most. It was top notch. That's why it would be lovely to have those guys as leaders in my army. Uh, let's see, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's see if we can actually fix it. We do have some spare time to look at other stuff. Okay, uh, actually, I think I will just do like this. Uh, I'm gonna actually take your entire tweet and just... Let's see, I'm gonna make a folder like this. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna make... Let's see, open this up. I'm gonna open up Paint. And we just... Come on, you guys. Take that and paste it in there. Then we're gonna save as a picture. I'm gonna call it uh, generals question mark. Save. Okay, you don't want that. 
So let's save it right there, please. Cool. Thank you. Uh, the Jura has arrived, but we're not going to care about it. Let's see how much time do we have left before this war goal applies. Oh, still, we got good amount of time. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take open up this. I'm going to browse for pictures, pictures, and then I'm going to say, let's see. There we go. And I added your message as well, so no one believes. Well, imagine it's here. I did my best just to make someone laugh. I did not know what to draw, so I came out to this. Hope you like it. Please don't take this as my best draws. I know I'm better than this. So, Theo, don't worry. We have it up. But there we go. Hopefully, I can plug those guys in as generals. That would be pretty goddamn awesome. <laughs> and this is what I meant with Potato Guy. Oof, such a lovely face. Just a lovely face. <laughs> and Boxhead is also pretty goddamn good when I think about it. But yeah, thank you, Theo, for that. They're lovely. I really, really appreciate stuff like that. They're like... <laughs> oh god, it just makes my entire day smile. That was like one of the small highlights of my day when I saw that tweet. Thank you so much. So, um, we're gonna see. We're getting some civilian economy up and rolling right now because we finally have national heritage. So I'm not actually gonna change my law just yet. I'm gonna let this just run until we have, well, 100% stability because it's first... When we have that 100% stability, we can just pick this one and that will just even out. We will have 100% and, well, very taxes. If I pick it right now, of course, we will just equal out and we'll never grow right there. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, political focus. Actually, yes, please, get that one. I need more political power and that's going to be 70 days, which is going to time pretty well right here. That means we're going to have about 100 days extra. And I think we can get up extensive conscription and war economy within this. Yeah, that would be pretty goddamn awesome. Oh wait, we can actually lower our war support, but that's fine. Because this actually doesn't require any kind of war support modifier. Ooh, nice. It's just we'd probably get the bad events if we're at war too long, but we probably won't be since we'll just go in here, take them down, and we're all good. Uh, we no longer get the effects from natural strength. Oh no, how terrible, I don't care. We're all good. We're all freaking good. Uh, so, political focus, still done. Okay, we, we just have to sit and wait. There is a bit of relaxing in this campaign. We don't have to worry about too much. The only thing we have to worry about is the next island we're supposed to invade. And I think I just found our next target, the Solomon Islands. So this is gonna take a while, guys. This is gonna take a quite a long while to actually slowly but steadily build up this, well, build up an empire strong enough to be able to challenge one of the greater powers. Uh, Papua New Guinea, are you guaranteed by anyone? No, but you have a pretty goddamn large army. Oh my god, that sucks. For me, that is. And New Zealand, are you guarded by anyone? Yes, actually guarded by two nations, god freaking damn it. Uh, but yeah, Solomon Islands, that's where we're gonna go after this. Uh, then we have a couple smaller islands left and right, which are also very much a nice target. Oh, six civilian factories, but you're guaranteed by the US, so never mind. The same with you, Marshall Islands, Micro Micronesia. Wow, that sounds like a fake name. Uh, sorry for anyone living there. I'm very sorry, but yeah, come on, Micronesia. That's like... No, okay, it's not as extreme as Boat Mac Boat Face, but... Indonesia, Micronesia, because they're small islands in... Come on. Creativity. Uh, let's see, do we have Brunei? Guaranteed by the British, god damn it. So it's really is, we have to take a couple small islands left and right and then hope to strike Indonesia, I think. Actually, Australia is weak. Wow, Australia is much weaker in Indonesia. But you're guaranteed by the US, so yeah, we can't do anything right there. God damn it, US, can't you just not, please? <laughs> and there we go, we got steel. Holy shit, that's nice. Very, very nice. We got steel. And with that, we have filled both our islands and we can't really build anything more. God damn it. But well, we're gonna get a radar station right there. So I might be able to see a bit more right there. Let's see, this is gonna be done in another couple of days. Very good. We have 450 power, which means we're gonna switch war economy. And just giving it a tiny bit more time. I'm actually not. Yeah, yes, of course I am. I'm gonna pick another focus. But I'm gonna go down and get that consumed goods factory, I think, right now. Just get that one, um, let's see, we're gonna continue, wait, did we pick that one, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go in right here and look for something else. Weapons, no, leg infantry, that one, oh right, this one, laser sight, yes please. But yeah, we don't really have to think about anything 
critical right now since we'll be well we're all fine so i'm gonna wait until we have about 600 close to like 685 maybe before we actually invade so we don't actually fail again and now i'm only thinking loss 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 we're not gonna fail once again with actually picking those god awful loss before that nation falls Actually, we are at 680 right now. Let's just wait a tiny bit more. I don't want to make any kind of mistake or underestimate how quickly these guys will actually travel in the sea. Uh, let's wait a tiny bit more. And actually, we can declare the war right now. Thank you. And then we'll execute this order. We'll go in right here. Pick total uh, or war economy. And just a tiny bit more. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh shit, will you actually arrive there before I expected? Well, we're still gonna... It's still gonna take a day or two for you to actually fall. Why do I keep doing this? Why couldn't I just wait another day or two? Why couldn't I wait another five days? <laughs> oh my god, Daniel. <laughs> God, sometimes, Daniel, sometimes. <laughs> oh my. <sighs> let's just justify next, let's just justify next war right away and just pretend like nothing happened. This, we didn't have enough. <laughs> oh my god. Some. I'm a loss for words. I'm a loss for words right now. Oh my god, I'm so freaking irritated right now. I really just want to end this god awful episode before I blow up. <laughs> Oh my god, Daniel. How can you be so bad? You're so bad at this game. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can find something fun. Popular figurehead, public moderator, international banker. Encryption, uh, what I'm looking for is actually Prince of Terror doesn't actually exist in this game. Hmm. Oh, there, Silent Workhorse. How how in hell could I have missed you? Well, let's pick him right away now. So actually get some more bullet power. Uh, that's going to boost it up a bit more. And we also have the weakest ability right there that is bumping us up quite nicely. Actually, could we pick very low taxes as well? Uh, no, that's just a ton of bad stuff. Let's just ignore it for now. Sorry. Uh, we are now going to go down and actually, let's see. I think I just want to invest in public service right away. Or it might actually be more advantage to just, well, get more factories. Well, actually, what do we need the factories right now for? All we have to do is just justify more war goals. And the more we take, the better we will become. So no, we're just going to recruit more administrators, go down, invest in public service, get the... Uh, actually, wait, we research slot, research slot. Uh, yeah, it's down here. That Wait, that's one. Yeah, but where's the other one? Where's the other research slot that I have? Really? I can only get one more? Are you kidding me? That's one. 
Really? Huh. I really thought you would be able to get two at least. Maybe not. Huh. Okay, never mind. We will only be able to get one more. And, um... <laughs> fucking shit. But yeah, um... Okay, uh, let's break this island now and let's prepare for the next naval invasion. And we won't be able to do anything more cool or upgrade our divisions at all because we did not raise a manpower law. Uh, let's just say that I'm probably gonna go up all to service by requirement right now because suddenly we have more time to wait. More time to wait and more... Well... More time to wait and... What, what am I trying to say? More time to wait and... Daniel, come on, speak. More time. We have more time to wait for more political power. That's the words I'm trying to find. The, uh, I should probably just end this episode right now. I can't speak anymore. I'm so bloody ass irritated. <sighs> I had such a happy day today. <laughs> it sucks now. <laughs> no, but oh my god. Oh, we can actually state corporate reforms. We can just get a military factory that way. Wow, that's nice. That's actually real nice. Oh, uh, let's see. What should we pick right now? Modern weapons and generation 3 night vision. Yes, please. Uh, what else should we do? Yeah, this is actually a good one. But then we actually have to beat their divisions, which one really strong naval division could do. But that would mean, is your capital enough to make you fall? Because if I just strike them hard enough and actually takes down their capital and they don't have anything else, then I could bring them down with just one fell swipe without actually with being weaker than them. Than them. So maybe this could actually be a nice target right now. I just need a couple of thousand men to improve this regiment, so I actually have something like, I don't know, it would be lovely to be at least like this. That would be 3,300 men, and right now we're not even close to it. And this guy, stop producing that, only get convoys right now. We can't afford anymore right there. Uh, we're gonna get down right here, invest in public service, get a couple of more civilian factories. We are actually gonna also start producing some kind of air force. No, we're not gonna do that either. Because that's bad. We're gonna get some support equipment. Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I completely forgot to actually add a military factory right now because, well, our accident. Let's see, how are you doing otherwise? You have another 110 days before we can invade our next target. Uh, free civilian factory, right, we need to do that as well. Shit. Um, I guess we're just gonna get a radar right there. Why I'm getting these radars is because, well, I will eventually be able to see once... I'm probably gonna upgrade all of these, so once once I'm at war with the larger nation, and, and if they try to naval invade me in any shape, way, or form, I will be able to see their, well, see their troops, well, swipe by my nation to, well, if they have any nations close by, any islands close by, if they're shipping troops to Australia, or whatever. I want to be able to see all of that stuff. And this is just, well, since I don't really have anything I can build in all of these islands, it's just something. So, Solomon Islands, what do we have right there? Uh, let's see, we have 500,000 men right there, that's very lovely. And together with search by requirement, that should be able to squeeze out a couple more men. Uh, let's see, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we do have enough steel for everything, yes please. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, let's see, 50 more days. Oh, God damn it. Um, I like you. You can probably tell I'm super irritated still. Like, I can't. I can't believe it timed it with such precision just to screw with me. No waiting time. You capitulated and then you just instantly got a peace conference. No. <sighs> and you're laughing at me, you asshole. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> I don't think I will ever let that down. Hashtag Daniel fail compilation.
Three. <laughs> or is it four? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, that's irritating. That's so irritating. I really want to stop this recording and actually make a new one, but yeah. Uh, let's just see. We have 25 minutes right now. We have this coming. Oh shit, if I don't actually start uploading it right now, it will be super, super late. Yeah, and since I'm so god awfully irritated, I think I will. Uh, thank you guys for this episode. Hopefully, at least you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.